Hey, this is Chris Menard. I've got a great tip today if you're an Office 365 user. If you have Microsoft Office 365, you have OneDrive. And if I'm in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, that should be my default save location. But in this Word document, when I click on Save, if you notice, there's my recent stuff. But if I want to save this, I have to click OneDrive, then go find the folder to put it in which is my Word files, and then go name it. I'm going to save you some extra clicks in those three applications, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So here's what you do. When you're in your Word document, it doesn't matter what Word document you have running, go to File and go all the way down to Options. Word gives us a little uh, help that PowerPoint and Excel won't give you, but I'll show you how to do it in PowerPoint and Excel. Go to Save. Right here is Save Documents, and you're going to have Default, Local File Options. You're going to select Browse. The word Browse is not in Excel, and it's not in PowerPoint. And then you're going to go find the OneDrive folder you want to put it in. Click on OK. So just because you do this for Word, it only changes it for your Word. It doesn't change it for Excel and PowerPoint. I'm going to click OK. So now when I go to save this document in any future documents, this is, this is a little tricky and people get confused about this. By default, you'll always come here to Recent. I can't, I can't seem to fix that one. You're tempted probably to come here to your OneDrive. Don't. You click on this PC. And there you go. So that's how you do it for Microsoft Word. Let me show you now what you have to do in Excel plus PowerPoint. So I already have Excel running. The problem here is the same steps. Go to File, go down to Options, click Save, same area right here default. The problem is there is no browse. So I'm going to leave this running. You're going to pull up uh, Explore, Windows, Logo, and the letter E. When you're in Explore, find your OneDrive, find your folder, and up here at the top I want you to right click and pick the second one, Copy Address as Text. Now you can minimize this. I'm back under Options, Save, Highlight, paste it in there. Make sure you put in that backslash. So after the word Files is that backslash. Click OK. Save. Same exact steps now. Don't go here. Click on this PC. Perfect. The same steps I just did for Excel, you open up PowerPoint and do that. I hope that helps. Thank you for your time. If you need to contact me, there's my email address.